course we don't. I double checked the numbers and you just can't make it this month. Can't we move things around? I already did, it's just, it's not adding up. It adds up, it just doesn't cover it. There's no more shifts at the office. Can you pick up some more overtime? Steven, I am on double overtime at the hospital. Is there anything you can do? Well, what do you want me to do? He's draining us, honey. We have nothing left. We have sold in the car. We've taken out a second and third mortgage on the house. What do you want me to do? Huh? We can sell the furniture. You have to let him go. Everybody sees it but you. He's tearing the family apart. Family. I don't even know what that word means anymore. Steve. Keep telling me I have to let you go. Hello, Stephen. Um, I know who you are. Why are you here? Come on, Stephen. If you know who I am, and you know I'm here. Decisions have been made, and it's time to collect. Decisions? I just want to make sure he's going to be all right after. I guarantee. He'll be fine. Happy. Can I have a few moments? A few moments with him before you... collect? Take all moments you need. I've got nothing but moments to take. I didn't even want kids. But when I got the news that he was coming, it made my life better. Not that it was bad to begin with. It just made it better, you know? He makes me better. When I brought him home, I sat in that same rocking chair. And I rocked and I talked to him all night long. Tiffany thought I was crazy. 
He was so small. That first night, I cried and I cried and I cried. They went in tears of happiness. I was so scared. How was I supposed to protect something so small? But when he opened up his eyes, I swear it was like he was saying, everything's gonna be okay, daddy. It's gonna be all right. And from that point on, I knew all I had to do was the best that I could. Now, we didn't always have it easy. We had rough times. But he was always there, ready to hold my hand, or give me a hug. He made me make better mistakes. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I'm perfect for him. Now, all I can do is hold his hand. never felt so helpless. Before all of this, he was running around playing. And he knocked over one of my trophies and broke it. He came running to me. He was crying. He was crying so hard. And he was saying, Daddy, Daddy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I thought that he was scared he was going to be in trouble. And when I asked him why he was so upset, he said because he didn't want to disappoint me. I picked him up. I told him, you can never disappoint me. And I'm proud of you. It's just, it's just so hard to let go. Doctors say you're not going to wake up again. My wife, you're my boy. My life. treated well and I say things he only ever saw in his imagination suppose you're right suppose they're all right it's selfish of me to keep you to keep you holding on I think it's time to let him go. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to let you go now. I'm 
I'm ready. You can take him. Who said I was here to collect him? Wake up! <laughs> Get up, baby! <laughs> <laughs>